Hey guys, it's Unknown Super Productions, and today we're gonna be taking a look at the uh, new, uh, one of the newest uh, Transformer Studio Series figures. That being the Transformer Studio Series Voyager class Skipjack. And so here he is in his vehicle mode, and I gotta say, it's a very good vehicle mode. Especially for a, uh, I mean, it's basically a repaint of the original Studio Series Rampage. Which was an, which was a, a more orange version of this guy. And I gotta say, I still think the yellow, I think the yellow version is vastly superior compared to this. And the, the cab is done in a nice pretty metallic blue. I, I'm not entirely sure if it's metallic blue, but um, yeah, it's really nice. Really nice, shiny black. Also, I've heard that this like little piece is like installed backwards somehow. I, I don't know how that happened, but I just found it on, uh, I just found it online. And of course, you just have this thong, you just have this thong singing up back there, and the tip of his tail. And without further ado, let's get this guy transformed into combined mode. And here we have uh, Skipjack's combined mode, and in my opinion, it's qu it's dec it's decent enough. I mean, the uh, tread toes are are very screen accurate. And honestly, um, I d I'm not sure if the shovel on the back is movie accurate or the cat on the back. But um, it ain't too bad. Also, um, there is a way to store this uh, on the combined mode. I know the official. Um, uh, storage for this thing will be on the back of Overload or the butt of Devastator, but I don't really like the look of that. So what I like to do is either just leave the thing off entirely or just put it back into the place where it would store it in vehicle mode. It doesn't matter which way you put it in. Me personally, I would just put it with this peg facing backwards and this thing folded in. And just have the shreds back in. And... That actually um, locks in the, uh, the, excuse me, I'm not sure if it does anything yet with, to help with the stability, but it just makes us the uh, the uh, full combined mode just a slight bit more elegant. And um, I'll bring out the rest of the combined mode parts just for a little size comparison. I just bought my thermos. There's scavenger, high tower, scrapper, Rolling mix master and the tiniest guy scrap metal. So yeah, um, he's one of the larger of the uh, six that I have. Also, long hauls or also long haul is um, is uh, coming from me from, from BigBadToysWorld.com. And um, I don't have overload just yet, but I am going. I am going to get him eventually. And the articulation. As far as the uh, thing goes, uh, this thing is just is just um, part of it. Just allows the uh, overload to slide in. The the ankle is on a ratchet pivot, and there's a double hinge here, allows you to extend the ankle, and also allows the foot to move up and down. Also, there's a VHS in there, visible head syndrome. Anyway. Also, for anyone wondering, and no, I'm not getting the red rampage. I'm just gonna be fine with uh, Devastator as is. And without further ado, let's get this guy into robot mode. And here we have Skipjack in his robot mode, and he looks pretty dang good. Okay, the. Oh, I just bought the case. Yep, the hey focus camera focus. Jesus, this thing won't focus on me. But anyways, the face sculpt is beautiful, very accurate to the movie. He and he even has the uh, warning keep clear things in his armpits. <laughs> um, yeah. Otherwise, mechanical detail is pretty good. Of course, you have the this whole thing 
hanging on the back of his tail. <laughs> then, of course, the shovel on his back. Anyways, articulation, the head is on a ball joint, so he can look up that far and look down that far. There is also a hinge joint at the neck, which allows him to look side to side, and a hinge joint here, which allows him to look even further up and even further down. The arms can rotate. They can also they can also move out. The these parts are just on hinge joints. And there's also a butterfly joint, which is for the transformation, but it's also very nice to see. A bicep swivel. No, uh, there's no elbow joint like the original. Um, there is a hinge joint at the th at the two thumbs. And both the top figures have a hinge joint at the base and a hinge joint at the end. Also, uh, uh, he has a ratcheted waist swivel, which is nice to see. He also has, I guess you could consider this an ab crunch. And an, and a, a, an arcing back. He also gets a bend at the tail. And a transformation joint at the bit at that. And he is a uh, he is a perfect he is a he is a very good figure in my opinion. Maybe even my favorite. And on with the size comparisons. Here he is with Studio Series Leader Shockwave. Here he is with the NECA Godzilla. Here he is with my previous review of the Masterpiece Movie Barricade. And last but not least, here he is with all of the Studio Series Constructicons that I have as of right now. I'm gonna try to fit all these guys into frame. There's Hightower, the little guy, the leader, and the big boy in the corner. It, it's hard for him to stand now. And. There you have that. Okay, put all of these guys back. Oh, one issue that I will point out on Mixmaster it, that I never mentioned is in his review because um I didn't I um it didn't happen then. It just only it just only started to happen like a like a month before. Um, this shoulder joint actually became actually became loose actually be uh, loosened up over time. I mean the the other one actually feels um, just a little bit. Uh, oh, never mind then. <laughs> but yeah, um, uh, yeah, this shoulder is definitely loosened up a little bit. The other shoulder, however, is actually just fine. Never mind that, never mind. Anyways, now on to the package. As far as the box goes, you get your image of Skipjack, level 67, Studio Series Construct on Skipjack, Transformers Adventure of the Fallen, officially the essence has for the product. On the side of the box, you have Devastator, of course, Authentic Transformers. On the side of the box, you got 67, Studio Series Skipjack, five different languages of Voyager class. On the top of the box, uh, Transformers Adventure of the Fallen. On the bottom, you see stuff in the barcodes. On the back, you get your product shots, Transformers in 22 steps, Pyramid Desert Battle, Construct on Skipjack, Backdrop included, I don't care. And, okay, some final thoughts on this figure. Um, I think the painting on this figure is really well done. The sculpting is also very, very good. Um, I also forgot to mention the um, uh, hydraulics in the vehicle mode can actually detach and uh, act, as pi act as his pistols. I see in the movie, um, yeah, uh, uh, I don't mind the kibble too much, I, kn I know that, um, uh, th this part right here may bother some people, 
but it won't really bother me right now. Also, these um, uh, the treads, um, you can put, position them however you want because there's like uh, um, three inch joints, uh, three segments. And uh, posability on this guy is not too bad by any means. And um, yeah, I would recommend picking this guy up, especially if you want a more movie accurate figure or of, uh, of uh, Rampage and that can combine to Devastator. And that is pretty much it for this review. And as always, I'll see you next time. Peace out.